Hey guys, what's up? Sport Motor, Eugene. I wanted to do this quick video. I haven't seen much online of this uh, information. I'm doing the uh, two inch spacer coil lift on the Humvee Hummer, as you can see. Um, the issue that I have, well, I got the spacer and that was no big deal. I got a video on my channel how to do that with all these straps, easy, maybe like half an hour, hour job on each side. But the issue comes up with the camber. So I think it's called co a positive camber. Even before I put the spacer in, my back wheels was like cambered out. How do I explain this? So basically, each side, the back was like that. Instead of straight, instead of negative camber, it was positive camber. I think that's what they call it. So because these trucks have heavy duty springs meant for all the payload for the army, uh, military, whatever. So kind of like stock like this, they're uh, cambered out this way the back tires but now when you put the spacer in it becomes even more aggressive it goes you know even worse i see a bunch of videos on youtube people put these spacers and coil spacers i did all four corners this is the last one i just put in but now it's more aggressive more cambered out see the spacer there so now we gotta do the shims the camber shims in the back and it's kind of a pain in the butt that's why I wanted to make a video and show you kind of what I did. There is no easy way to do it. Not that I know of. If you do, let me know in the comment. But you have to basically get this upper control arm loose from there. Kind of tough. It's two of these big bolts inside here. Kind of like that. Inside this bracket. So the two brackets. So to see this in the back. It's kind of held down through these. Like, like that. Through here. So I got those off, it was pain in the butt. I think it's a 29 millimeter socket on both sides, the nut and the bolt. So we got that off on both of these. I used the straps, a couple of these straps, hooked it on anywhere you can on this hook to kind of support this, uh, all this hub and the upper control arm. Same with this over here, I got a second strap hooked up anywhere you can. And on the bottom here, as you can see, on the by the studs. Um, yeah, so that way this kind of holds the weight up. Pain in the butt again. Uh, I use a pry bar. I'm using the pry bar basically the most here. Best tool. So I'm just kind of wiggling this up as I'm getting this bolt out. The big ones. Once I got those out, you got to get this bracket off. So see, this bracket sits. Let me show you. Let me get in there a little more. I'm covered in dirt because I was underneath getting this off. This bracket sits in there like that. And there's four bolts and nuts that hold it in place. These are the shims that were in there. I had two, I think two on each side. So two here and then two over there. If, let, let me show you if you can kind of see them. So see if in the bottom there where the bracket meets the frame those little shims they call them that give you the camber i'm taking both out let me show you the other one i just had it here okay so there's the the second one there was two on each side this one i guess easy you just loosen up these four bolts and it slides down but that wasn't enough that wasn't the the end of it you gotta take off bracket all the way because this guy the second shim it was just sitting like that held down by four bolts and there is no way to slide this off without getting the whole bracket off that needs to go here so that's that i want to show you how that's done 19 millimeter four bolts and nuts with, with washers on both sides hold this bracket in place um 19 millimeter like i said so and it's also it's the same as uh, three quarter inch Use whatever you can on both sides. You got to get in there You know, so these these the power impact Whatever you can and that's uh back and forth a lot of crap falls in found my face all over me And we finally got it off, but now we got to do that side. It's loose I sh Yeah, it's kind of loose, but whatever so I'm gonna get that off and then I gotta also go on the back uh, passenger side 
do the same. So that's how I did it, in case anybody was wondering. And on my channel, I got a video for the spacer lift, if anybody wants to check it out. That's in there. I got a video for the CV axle replacement, super easy, tend the job. I just did I just did the front steering suspension, the tie rods, the pitman arm, the idler arm in there. Video on my channel if you want to check it out. And yeah, thanks guys. And hopefully that was somewhat useful. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll hopefully answer them. See you, bye.